Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am taking you on a super fun adventure. And notice I said I, because, well, I'm not traveling with my regular travel partner, my husband Rob. I am traveling with a special partner today. I'm traveling with my dad. <laughs> I'll tell you why in, in just a minute, but we got more coming up, so stay tuned. Okay, so we drove through the entrance. They mark your vehicle with a number, and if you have priority offloading like we have, they are going to put a sticker with a number that starts with a P, and then the number, and that will tell them that yours is a priority vehicle. They give you a paper with the number on it as well, so they know which vehicle is yours. Um, and then the vehicle, is right here this blue one my dad's car and then they're loading them right there behind me ours should be loaded soon i'll show you when they load it Now, in order to ride the auto train, you have to have an auto. You cannot ride it without a vehicle um, on board. So since Rob and I sold everything to travel, we have no car and no house. So my dad is letting us borrow his car. So I thought, why not bring him on the adventure? <laughs> we ride his car down here and take the ride down to Florida. Once you head inside the station, you will check in, which is where you're gonna get your dinner reservation um, and get all the information about your room, even if you already know it. You can do your dinner reservation there. And they do start boarding at 3.30, which is really nice, because then you don't have to sit in the waiting areas. Quite a few seats, but it is pretty full in there today. This announcement is going to be for all of our sleepy car passengers and our sleepy car passengers only. Once again, if I can have the attention of all sleepy car passengers. There was a delay today for the crew to get on board to prepare for service. That does include our kitchen staff. The dinner times will not be at 5, 7, and 9 tonight, but will be at 6, 8, and 10. If you are in a to-go seating, the first to-go seating will be 7.30, and the second to-go seating will be 9.30. Unfortunately, at this time, we cannot move anyone around. So the ticket that you have will be the ticket that you come in for dinner. Once again, we were delayed this morning getting on the train to prepare for service. It was out of our control and we do apologize profusely for the inconvenience. But once again, our first sit down service will be at six. Our second will be at eight and our third will be at 10. Six, so if you have a ticket marked one, you will come in at the six. If you have a ticket marked two, you will come in at the eight. If you have a ticket marked three, you will come in at the 10. Two, gentlemen, please 
General Electric 4,000 horsepower diesel locomotive, and in its entirety, the auto train averages nearly three-fourths of a mile in length, and is the longest passenger train in the U.S. We have a total of nine sleeping cars and three coach cars on board today. And in between sleeping car 5341 and 5340 is our sleeper lounge and dining car for that portion of the train. The sleeper lounge is currently open and serving. The sleeper lounge will close for a dinner break, so please listen out for that announcement later on this evening. And then they will close for the night at 11 p.m. Once again, the Sleeper Diner is having sit-down service at 6, 8, and 10 tonight. We ask that all sleeping car passengers please remain in your room until you hear an announcement inviting you into the dining car, as the dining car staff will be working preparing for service. Between sleeping car 5347 and coach car 5310 is our cross-country cafe. The Cross Country Cafe is also currently open and serving and will also take a dinner break later on this evening, so please listen out for their dinner break announcement. And they will also be closing at 11 p.m. Once again, the Cross Country Cafe is located between 5347 Sleeping Car and Coach Car 5310. The auto train is a non-smoking train, which does include e-cigarettes and vapors. Smoking is not permitted anywhere on the train, and that does include our restrooms and our sleeper accommodations. If you are caught smoking, we will have to stop the train, let you off, and you will have to find your own way to Sanford while we will continue on with your car. So once again, please, absolutely no smoking on board the train. All children under the age of 13 must be accompanied by an adult and that no running is permitted on board. This is for the safety of the child, so parents of little ones, please keep an eye on your children and do not let them walk about the train by themselves. Shoes also must be worn by everyone leaving their seat or accommodation. If you do walk into a service car without your shoes, any service car, which would be the sleeper lounge, the sleeper diner, or the cafe car, please don't get upset when a crew member asks you to return to get your shoes as it is a safety issue. At this time, we ask that you sit back and relax, or better yet, come and visit our attendant in the sleeper lounge or our attendants in the cafe car. On behalf of crew number four, your conductors, engineers, and myself, we welcome you aboard and thank you for choosing Amtrak's auto train. Six to nine in the morning. So, go, go, back. go back to the dining car, yes. So, breakfast is from six to nine. So, whenever you guys leave your room in the morning to go get breakfast, that yellow call button that's right there behind you lets me know that you left your room so then I can come remake the beds for the next time people that get on the train. Yes? Okay. Still the best one. Bridge between six to nine. Okay. Bridge between six to nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I see it says ready, but it just keeps coming out as one. And the person that leaves the keys is the
Quantico. Hmm? This is Quantico on the Dalit Bi. Yeah. Look at that. By the water there. That's pretty. They, they don't have no beef. I'm not surprised they don't have something there. They don't go to something. Hmm. That looks pretty. video a little bit while we can. This will be dark soon. All right, guys, it is dinner time and dad and I have decided to have dinner here in the room, nice and chill for us. I got the salmon, as you can see, if you've watched the channel, you probably already guessed that. And guess what my dad got? He may not be Rob, but <laughs> he also got the steak, <laughs> the flat iron steak. So um, we're going to enjoy that. I got, uh, my dad got some sugar-free jello for his dessert and I am going to have the Meyer lemon cake, which I've had before and I know it is very good. So I'm gonna have that. And then um, dad got some candle dry ginger ale for his drink and I got some wine for my drink so he's digging into his right there what do you think dad you think it's gonna be good yeah, gonna be good <laughs> <laughs> so you can see he's excited to try it out um, dinner is a little bit different here um, as I mentioned earlier when you check in you actually make your dinner reservations when you check in when you get to the station after you drop your car off so um, it's a little bit different here on the train. And then if you want to have um, dinner in your room, you tell them that when you check in that you don't want to eat in the dining room, put in your room and then they'll bring it to you. So that's awesome. I'm going to dig in here. I'll have more info for you later after we set up these beds and do a quickie tour of the room. All right, all done with dinner. We both enjoyed our food very much. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a quick tour. Dad says he gives food, what? A thumbs up. Good deal. Okay, Dad's belly is full. So I'm ready to give you a quick tour here. As you can see right next to my dad is our best travel buddy right here. Don't forget there's a link to buy this off of Amazon in the description down below. I'm just gonna give you a quick tour here of the room. Dad's sitting in the rear facing seat and right next to him, this is the closet area here. And I've got my bag here and he's got his back there. And then that's kind of the closet area. His jacket is hanging there. And then you'll see the towels up above right here. Those are to use for the bathroom, for washing hands and for cleaning ourselves up in the morning. And then on this side over here, we've got the buttons for controlling the lights up above and for the call button for the attendant turning off announcements in the room, which I still need to remember to do. And then a reading light here. These curtains, I've not seen this pattern before. This is a new pattern I haven't seen. It's kind of nice, um, but these will close all the way across and keep us nice and, and dark in the room here so that we don't see all the light in the morning once that comes in and then Dad says he's going to sleep in the upper bunk. Are you going to sleep up there? Yep. He says yes. He wants to be like Rob. So let's see if it works out. <laughs> so I'm going to make up the room here. We pulled the table out here to have our dinner. And then when he goes up, we're going to move these bags. But he's going to use these two steps here to go all the way up. And then we have a little mirror here. If you haven't seen our full tour of the Superliner Roomette, make sure you check that video out here on the channel. We also have lots of pictures and lots of information on the website, groundedlifetravel.com. So we're gonna make up the room here and then I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Okay, so 
if you've watched our videos before, you know I like to sleep on the bottom. I did offer my dad the bottom bunk, but he insists that he can sleep on the top. He's 72, and he's gonna climb up here. <laughs> Look at his face of determination. <laughs> he's gonna climb up here and take the top bunk. So this is what it looks like while he's climbing up. This is what it looks like up here. There is a net with some space here. He's putting his watch there. There's also another little basket back there. And then there's his pillow. And then you do get a sheet and you get that nice um, Amtrak thick blanket too. It's like a type blanket so that's really nice there so he's gonna try to climb up there and we've already got this this part up right here he's oh he's I getting not gonna be my safety oh, thing. no problem look at that how is it for it all man <laughs> <laughs> he made it to the top <laughs> now that's a nice dad right there <laughs> He knows I really have a hard time in small spaces. That's a good dad. He's climbing up to the top. I have a good dad and a good husband. <laughs> <laughs> so my life is pretty good. guys we had a good night's sleep 
on board the auto train and for breakfast what they do is they serve a continental breakfast so you go down to either the dining car or the lounge car and you can have breakfast in there and help yourself and we are also now pulling into the station about an hour and 15 minutes early which is amazing um, so what they'll do is they'll pull in they have to wait actually for the station to open because it's not even open yet um, wait for it to open and then they'll pull us in and then they'll start uh, deboarding us and then uh, we'll sit around and wait for our car we'll give you an update on how long it takes to get our uh, priority offloading vehicle when we do that mm -hmm. 